Hello, I'm Brown7407 and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make your first complete dream. First thing I want you to do is go to Dream Shaping and select New Element or Scene. I have something ready to go here that's just going to make it easier for me to teach, but we have the same stuff going on. We have a flecked background, we have a square to start with, and not much else. This is Talking Robot. Um, he's going to be here as a uh, the brains of the operation. And this is Safety Puppet. He's, he's coming equipped with a helmet, goggles, arm pads, knee pads, and he has some brand new white shoes. And you can make your platformer on whatever you want. I'm not going to... I'm going to be vague on artistic details and really leave that for your imagination. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to make a game about um, Safety Puppet having brand new shoes and he has to keep his shoes clean. Um, and the rules are that Safety Puppet always goes first just because uh, that's, that's his job. That's what I brought him on the team for. Okay, so I press R2 to possess the puppet and let's take a look at what he can do. Now, you can grab him right off the Dreamiverse. Uh, if you press square to open the menu, go into edit mode, go into search, and this way you can get right into doing gameplay. I didn't rig this up any more than just decorating the puppet a little bit, giving him some safety equipment. Safety first. Safety puppet. Always have a safety puppet for when you're going to be doing dangerous stunts. So you can just place it in with X. Bam. If I want to delete something, I press triangle. Because I already have a safety puppet. We'll reuse him. So, I'm going to press L1 and then square to go into his stats here. I can see, okay, I made his jump by 2.5. I can press square, go into modes. Test mode. Allows me to actually possess him and test the jump. Unpossess. And now I'm going to give him a double jump. Let's make it a 1.5. Gravity is at 150% default for no good reason. If you were going to make a game on the moon, for example, you'd want to lower gravity. And you'd want to raise air control so the game doesn't feel all floaty. It's really important to have good control. So now... Oh, that second jump gives a little more vertical. Very nice. You can change walk speed. You can change run speed. There's a lot you can do here. I believe you can even do auto jump. Yeah. Um, I'm going to turn that behavior off. But you can turn on auto jump at any point. Okay, so now let's do a quick touch-up of this area, just so we're not staring off into an endless void. I'm going to hold L1, and then press R2 to clone. And I have this clone here, holding up to just resize into a nice respectable size here. Great. Um, let's make the floor into lava. Yeah. I'm going to add some looseness. I'm going to add some flex perspective. I'm going to add a little glowingness. I'm going to add some waves. A little evaporation. Now, you press R3, you can look at it in real time. It's a little sloppy. Let me slow things down. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I know your game might not have lava at all, you might have water. Okay. Something. The floor is now lava. And I'll take um, this square here, L1, L1, and then R2, and just clone it. And I'll move it out here. Now, let's talk about, in a 3D platformer, obviously you have a start and a finish. So in order to make a dream, first thing we need to do is create a start and a finish for any level. Here's how you make 
a doorway. I feel like I need to do this in the very first tutorial because it's so important to creating a dream. I'm going to create a microchip. Just so I can store this. And maybe I'm going to make this available later. Let's call it portal. Portal into the next level. Portal logic. So I'm going to use, I go into gadgets. Use a zone. This zone will be right here. Shrinking it way down. And I'm going to use a door. Gadgets. Go. Gameplay gear. Door. Now pay attention here. I go into the circle to get out of here. I'm going to open the settings. It's a doorway in. Very nice. I'm just going to have it be quick. Dissolve. And the way... Um, I guess I don't even need a power if there's a doorway in. It'll just be there. But let's be sure. Great. Enter the level. Now, I like to decorate my microchip a little bit just so I know what is going on. So, considering this is a doorway in and out let's give it a rocket chip like we're out of here i'm gonna l1 and r2 i'm gonna take this over here i'm making an exit to the level keep bearing with me and just copy me exactly because we're going to make this into a dream so now um i copied this but obviously we want this to be first we want this to be an exit not an entrance Changing that. Let's have it be... Ooh, yeah, let's give it a little effect. Why not? And the zone... Where's that zone? I don't like that. Let me do a brand new zone. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just making a copy here and shrinking it. Just showing this is the zone ending. Maybe I'll L1 square color this green, you know? Just sort of a signal. We can make this beautiful later. I wonder if we can get across this gap. We're about to find out. Double jump. He made it. He made it. Well, one of us made it. Sometimes going first is the safest option. Now if I walk towards the cube... Should be going to the end of the dream. Let me try this again. From the beginning. Oh. Not working. Let's see why. Aha. Our first engineering mistake, an easy one at that. Take the zone. When detected, output. Power, doorway. This will work. Let me rewind. So I hadn't hooked the zone up to the actual doorway. So now, I make it across, I approach the door, you trigger the doorway, and I just end the level. Now, I want you to go, press start, options, exit creation, and save. You now have a doorway in and out. So now you're going to go and create the dream. So this time, dream shape, new dream. And I want you to search. And whenever you named your level, you're going to place it right in. 
And you'll notice that it has an entrance and an exit. So if we were to make a second level or a second portion or a cutscene, we can link it right up. And a dream is really just a sequence of scenes lined up by these little spider webs. So now you have a level template that is modular. You can, you can plug in the front and then you'll have an exit. Save that. I'm going to call it um, Fresh Kicks. Like so. Now, if I make a change, one more piece. If you, I make a change to... Let's say I make a change in here. I go in. I've been doing some work. Maybe I add... I shrink this down. And I started playing with some sculptures. And I made something that I decided maybe I want to keep. A little staircase to like a... Perhaps there's a power up up here. And I'm like, okay, I actually want to keep this. And now, for example, my exit, I pressed X on both to move them. I want to move the goalpost here. And now my level's a little longer and more involved. That's great. So I exit, save. And when I return to the dream, so you can work on five different levels. When I return to my dream, and I hit edit, right here, update. What you want to do is click auto-update. This is going to save you so much trouble. Now, every time you open the dream, it's going to ask you, do you want to update this? Of course I do. Exit update mode. And now my dream is up to date with all the best stuff. I didn't have to go in and do a million different things. So I really recommend you take one template level Put a lot of logic into it, put your time into it, and that way you'll have a base with doorways in it, etc. And you won't have to do this process over and over. I will release this for you to be able to take a look. You can pick apart um, the logic that's already in the puppet, although there isn't much there. I'll release this on the Dreamiverse. Use PSN Brown 7407. And you should be able to find Safety Puppet. And Talking Robots on there as well. So you'll be able to play around with this level if you want to remix it. Um, you can even use this as your starter. You can take this lava and make it better than I made it. I only spent three seconds. And uh, please feel free to show me anything you come up with. In our next level, we're going to introduce some danger. Uh, not that the, the lava isn't already dangerous enough, but I want it to... Uh, be able to do damage to you. So tune in next time for episode 2, where we create our own dream from scratch.